What is up guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna get Music B working. Hey, yeah. And to do this is pretty simple. Download now, get the Music B installer, hit trust. I don't know why they keep it on Mega, but they do. We're gonna hit download now again, and it's gonna be 3.300, it's gonna be 3.5, all right? It's a, it's a good version number, trust me. I know what I'm doing. Then we're going to extract and we're going to open with program loader. We're going to hit next. Oh, by the way, in case you can't open with program loader, open with and select the wine windows program loader. Great. Great. And we're going to hit install and what's going to happen. It's going to do the installation and we're going to hit finish. Now, this is the fun part, whether it wants to open or not. It's always the fun part, okay? Oh, I just totally noticed that we have an entire VM going. Isn't that great? We're going to force shutdown. Now, as you can see, I can't find the shortcut anywhere. It does its thing. It tries its best to work, but in the end, it always gets stuck in here. So we're going to open it up. As you can see, it just opens. And here's the thing. You're going to need .NET 48. This is super important or else uh, it's just not going to work at all. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to choose Matt's music because I do have music in there. Then I'm going to go into one of my personal drives. Which I guess I have to show you how to get to your drives. You know. Uh, if you have it set up to auto mount, it will go in here and I do so I'm going to select my music from here If you don't have it set up to auto mount, it's going to go into here, but into media as you can see So yeah, just be very very aware of that so you know what's happening essentially and uh, Once this is finished finished scanning, we'll be right back. I'll show you how to install dot net 48 using wine tricks, okay? Okay, so again, you're going to need .NET 48, and the easiest way to do this, believe it or not, is to open up the terminal, don't worry, it doesn't bite, and you type wine tricks, and that's it. Now, it's going to open up, and it's going to say this. You might get confused by this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK. Then we're going to hit Cancel. I know it's weird. Then we're going to install a Windows DDL or component. And then, get this. We're going to go down to the D's. Okay. I know everyone's super excited once they hear that they're going to get the D. All jokes aside, uh, in all seriousness. Uh, here's .NET. So we're going to need the newest version of .NET, which again is .NET 48. I don't have it installed, which is kind of interesting, and this just works. So I don't know if this actually needs it or not, but I've seen it install anyway. And we're going to hit OK. We're going to let it do its thing. And it's going to run through this and we'll be back once it's done. Basically, it's going to download everything it needs to. Uh, will not fully work on this installation. Yeah, uh -huh. doesn't need to fully work. It just needs to work enough that we can get it to uh, work in a nutshell. So we're going to hit OK. And I'm only doing this as a precaution. It's the only reason I'm doing this. And I think... I think it just doesn't need it anymore. I think you can literally just install Music B and just not need it. Because, honestly, I have the most bare bones wine install ever and it still worked. Uh, you may notice that we don't have the menu bar. So what I do is this. And it shows up because that gives me the ability to do skins. And I usually go to Metro series and I go with Violet. Which totally is going to kill the application. And if it doesn't open up again, just do this like that. And it, it opens up. It does. It comes back to you. Yeah, at the turn of the tides, as always, brand new clothing called Gandalf the White. Hopefully. My guess is it hasn't actually executed itself yet. 
So if it doesn't start back up, what you want to do is you want to go find it. So we're going to hit process name, make sure everything in here is organized properly. Oh man, my chest is going off today. And we're going to find, where is it? Where are you? Wow, it literally ended itself and doesn't want to start back up. Try this again. So it opened it. And yeah, it got stuck somewhere, but I'm trying to find the main file, which is sometimes can be a bit of a problem. Now there is a file called main thread usually here, but it doesn't want to open. So, you know, this is not perfect by any means. I guess changing it messed it up. But if I go in here, program files, and I head into uh, here, music B, and where is it? It's in the M's, open. No, I want to see what it's doing because this is very, very important. Wine, music B. So again, it's basically just getting stuck importing things, which is sort of a problem in its own right. Yeah, so it's having trouble importing the M core. And again, this is what I mean by it needs .NET 48. So once again, winetricks-q.net48. I wanted to make sure that I needed .NET 48 for it to actually work because I believe it's theming ends up actually using this. So once this is done, we should be good to go. By the way, it's totally still going. I know it's kind of weird that it started up at first and then when I changed the theme, it sort of went and crapped itself. That's kind of kind of normal, believe it or not, but in a way, it's kind of annoying, but in a way, it's sort of a teaching moment uh, to recognize the errors, you know? And I find that teaching moment to be very inspirational, I guess. Totally opened up the wrong terminal, by the way. I feel like an idiot now. And as you can see, there's MS Cores VW, the thing that it required. So it does indeed need dot framework. Uh, .NET framework, so uh, yay. It's a good thing to figure out, you know? Learning how to troubleshoot these issues in Wine can be very difficult, but once you get a hold of it, basically it's just trial and error until you get it to work. So... Do you think it works now? Honestly, I would love to know. Let's see. Ta-da! So again, you do need .NET 48. And to go over the command, it's wine tricks dash Q. So that's unattended, completely invisible. Dot .NET 48. And that's it. And that way you have a fully working version of Music B. And to show you this, uh, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into... Did it? Did it even add everything in here? Like, I'm not really seeing stuff I can play for you because I have an idea. I have an idea. We're going to just drop in this Diablo track and hope for the best. Can we open with it? iTunes. iTunes. I have iTunes installed, by the way. Uh, Yeah, no doesn't look like I can which is kind of unfortunate and I don't see it at the bottom either or at the top but look <laughs> I wish I could play a song for you but I can't I'm sorry it's just a thing that happens I mean I can go here and I guess I could maybe no, it doesn't want me to. 
Anyway, Music B is running. It's all that matters. You have it before you. It looks great. It runs great. Probably one of the best audio players you'll find, period. And the best part is, because we're no longer using Pulse audio, it doesn't sound like crap. It sounds great. So I can literally just jump in. And as you can see, it's running. Oh, that's a, that was really loud. That's a crappy file. My bad. There we go. 24-bit, 192 hertz, kilohertz. Big file. And it's very, very loud. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, share the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.